Here is a design for a static progressive wrist flexion or extension orthosis uh, featuring Orphicast hinges. So hinges of, made out of rolled Orphicast material that connect our proximal segment with our distal segment to allow for ease of motion and no need to establish the correct angle of pull because we're just working within the wrist's normal joint range. So at first we, we fabricate a circumferential forearm and hand-based orthosis. You can make this in one piece and then cut it into two at the wrist joint, which is easy. Uh, in this method we have a long lever arm, so I've included the fingers. You could go all the way to the fingertips. You could put the MCP joints in flexion, but we're getting more length than just going through the mid metacarpal. We're getting the extra length of the proximal phalanx. And uh, once it's made in one piece, we can cut it apart to free up the wrist on both sides, volar and dorsal, and put it back together with these hinges that maintain the same distance throughout the range of motion of flexion and extension. Then with a little hole punched between the fingers, there it is, and some thread, I've created a method for pulling. And I think I want this between my ring and my uh, middle fingers. I've attached it to a long strap of Velcro loop and I can pull into extension, wrist extension, or wrist flexion with the same uh, orthosis, with the same static progressive pull. So maybe starting a little bit of motion here and then progressing a little bit farther in both directions. But the hinges maintain the same distance uh, throughout the entire range of motion. So there's no need to go back and adjust that 90 degree angle of pull on the metacarpals, as long as you've got this distance maintained. If you wanted to include the elbow, you could put a strap around the elbow, keep it flexed. But I find that for people wearing this three to four times a day, uh, for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes at a time, uh, they can remain pretty stable. It's not gonna shift distally because it's a great circumferential uh, design, so it really uh, stays put. The thumb doesn't need a whole lot of range of motion because it's not a functional orthosis. And for example, you can create this same design and by adding a little bit of elastic thread to connect your Velcro loop, you can create a dynamic pull. So the same orthosis, same design, uh, but with a, a, a dynamic pull into uh, flexion or extension. So you could give your patient two options. You could put elastic thread and non-elastic thread through the hole and create a dynamic pull, which typically requires a longer wearing schedule, or a static progressive pull, which can be adjusted throughout the day. So this is a simple design, low profile, lightweight. I've used a 1 12th inch thick material here um, to make my circumferential uh, base and then just connecting Orphicast, rolled Orphicast as my hinges. Thank you.